So, tell me about what happened when you were at Kent State. Um, well, when I was at um, Kent State, uh, I arrived there in August of 1977, and um, soon after, um, w there was uh, plans f of the administration of Kent State University to build a gym on the site of the shootings, approximately. It was going to be uh, located on Blanket Hill. That w is what it was called. And if you read about it, you'll see all that with maps and so on. And, and so uh, they're going to build this gym. And um, there was a protest movement in 1977 that added a whole chapter of events to the story of uh, Kent State. Um, besides what was written about in May 4th. And um, this, um, the, I was involved a little bit in the protesting. I was more serious as an artist. I uh, felt like I needed to keep working on my degree. And I, I had a, a small involvement in that. I wasn't super involved, but uh, I'll tell you, the, um, the, the commons is a tract of ground between Ritchie Hall, who was known as the Old Student Union, and Taylor Hall. And on the grounds of the commons, um, they, they put Tent City. And it was um, a, a peaceful protest. Um, people were not allowed to really make fires. It wasn't a very good camping situation. There were maybe about 200 tents, uh, and, and uh, varying as, as few as 25 tents to 200 tents of people camping there, and some of them were my friends, so I would talk to them. Um, I met uh, William Kunzler, um, Bill Kunzler uh, was a, a famous lawyer who defended um, a lot of different people in his time. He was one of the defense lawyers of the Chicago Eight that were tried um, during the uh, 1968 uh, Democratic Convention in Chicago. Uh, that event, but uh, he was also a defense lawyer. Martin Luther King, uh, H. Rap Brown, um, uh, Abby Hoffman, Jerry Rubin, um, uh, a lot of those noteworthy. Jack Ruby, in fact, um, he was a socialist, but he was an intellectual, and and he was a viable force and um, smart man, and uh, a good American. He was solid in the United States Constitution, and. Um, he was criticized for not criticizing other socialist countries, uh, but uh, when I was there, I met Bill, and I I met other kids that were there that gave me insight about how things were running. I met uh, youth that were younger than me. They were from outside Kent. They were not students at Kent. Um, they were from Massachusetts and Connecticut, and they were uh, young youngsters that were sent over to uh, Peking and Moscow, uh, studying a six-week English language curriculum on social um, uh, activism and uh, socialism, and uh, just the framework of ideals. And uh, that program had been going on for decades. And so uh, here I'm speaking to these uh, sincere young people, and I, I don't have any mind made up about my uh, political beliefs at that point in time when I was 26. I was just observing all this. And um, I guess it, this, um, it had to affect me. Um, I remember a day when I was painting um, in the back side of Ritchie Hall facing the commons. Um, at the same time of Tent City, there was a surround of 